Right now, a lot of people are here. This is like an IQ distribution bell curve, by the way. A lot of people are here in the middle. And then you've got a lot of people here who are on the left side of it, an extremely low IQ play. And then you've got the highest IQ play here, like 145 level. So a lot of people are here in the middle. They, they watch the news. They believe what they're taught. And, you know, they, they believe that the world is real, the way it's been communicated to them. Then you have people who are on the left curve who are completely um, ridiculous. You know, you might consider them maybe retarded or something. And then on the right, you have extremely high IQ who know what's going on. These are the, the big boys. The, the, the funny thing about this is that <laughs> the people on the left on the, and the right, they sort of share, <laughs> um, they sort of share the same traits. It's very difficult to tell which who is who. It's like Kanye West and Elon Musk kind of thing, or compared to um, the dumbest person in your village, you know. That's what's, ha that's what's happening. So it's hard to tell. It's Kanye West a genius or he is really stupid. So the guys who are buying the, the chain link and all these kind of odd coins that seem like real investments are in the middle. So I want you and I to be more on the, if we better off being on the left or on the right. So we invest in meme coins. If we make, if we lose money on that meme coin, we are with, with this guy on the left. We just do whatever, and then we, we, you know, we made a dumb move and it, we lost. And then on the far right, we got the 145 guy, who we do something that might appear stupid to the guy, to the people in the middle, the majority. But for us, it will work, and then we, we, we come out strong on the other side. Now. Before we start with this experiment, I need you guys, or with this journey, or with this adventure, I need you guys to understand one more thing. Everything goes to zero against Bitcoin. What do I mean by that? I'll show you. It means that we can invest in things like meme coins, and then they will go up, and they will go up, and they will go up. But eventually, over time, if you look at them in a five-year horizon, they lose money against Bitcoin. So we do it. You, we, we're doing something so crazy. But we know that it's, it has a limited time frame to do it. Shelf life is too, too low. So we're going to do the game. We make the money and we run back quickly into BTC because that is the only real money in this market. The rest is all scams and stupid stuff. And there are different types of scams. They're VC scams that appear to be real. They're dressed up properly. They got real CEOs and they got all the project. You know, everybody believes that they're real things. And if you tell your mother or your parents that, oh, I invested in XRP, they look it up. They'll be like, oh, you're a genius, my son. I read that XRP, it got uh, partnerships with the Visa and all these projects. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. They're going to give you the hands up and they'll clap for you. Oh my gosh, my son is now an investor. So, <laughs> so look at this. A very interesting story here, right? This is my friend Ninzo. He is on the is is part of the chat. He's saying that, oh my word, I bought the wrong dog with hat two days ago and it pumped. And then Tiago here says, you are the guy on the left then. This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? You're either going to make money in crypto by being extremely smart or extremely dumb. If you're in the middle, I'm so sorry for you. So, you know, you, you, I'm sure you guys know where you are, but you can also choose to be different. You can choose. I think the worst place to be right now in this market is to be the guy in the, in the middle. Don't be the, the mid curve. Either be left curve or right curve. So